Welcome back. We have an update now on a Cave Creek couple who spent $10,000 on airfare only to have their trip canceled. And it was the airline that canceled on them, so they thought they'd get their money back. Three on your side's Gary Harper is here with an update. Yeah, just like you said, you have to remember it's the airline that canceled this trip, not the viewers. And that's what you want to keep in mind. The 10 grand was for round trip tickets for an overseas vacation, but these viewers never took that trip because United Airlines stopped flying to that location altogether. So I asked United Airlines about possibly refunding their money. Here's their answer. That's how we like it. Mark Skagg says he's not mincing words when he claims United Airlines duped him. So it's a real, it's a real trick. In a previous Three in Your Side report, Mark and his wife explained how they booked a once in a lifetime vacation to a little island just off of Bali. They paid United Airlines almost $10,000 to get them to Bali and back. But when COVID hit last year, they say United Airlines offered to reschedule their trip and persuaded the couple to convert their airline tickets into something called an electric travel ticket, also known as a voucher for future use. Well, the couple now wants to use that $10,000 voucher, but they can't because United recently stopped flying to Bali altogether. And it just said, your trip's been canceled. Uh, and we have the email to the effect that basically says, we don't have any other way to get you there at this time and your flight's canceled. Mark says since United Airlines canceled and he didn't, then United needs to return his $10,000. However, United says no, because remember, the airline switched Mark and his wife's airline tickets into vouchers. And United says it doesn't give refunds for vouchers. So three on your side asked United Airlines to review the matter again and to reconsider refunding the couple their money since the airline canceled. Well, here's the update. United told three on your side no, claiming Mark and his wife, quote, can use the $10,000 credit to travel to any destination United serves, just not Bali. At the end of the day, Gary, you know, we didn't buy 10,000 miles with United. We paid them to take us to Bali and then two weeks later bring us back. And now they're saying, well, no, now you can go to Des Moines 12 times instead. Mark maintains that converting his tickets into vouchers was a clever way for United to keep consumers money and that the airline never disclosed the consequences. It's like selling a gift card and knowing people won't ever fully use the whole thing. It's a bait and switch thing completely, in my opinion. Mark and his wife say they're disappointed in the outcome and claim it will be extremely difficult to use up almost $10,000 worth of airline credit. However, they're still glad they had three on your side in their corner. And I want to thank you guys and your team. You guys are the real deal. I appreciate all your efforts. Well, these viewers are pretty heated over United's decision and have filed a formal complaint with the Department of Transportation. If that goes anywhere, I'll certainly have a follow up and let you know, and let you know what happens. But it's all about the voucher. A lot of these consumers, just like these viewers, agreed to go with the voucher because they were kind of persuaded into it. Mm. And this was all done over the phone. There was nothing really to read. They had, they had no idea that what the, you know what the consequences were with going to the voucher now they're stuck with this voucher yeah. and they can't get their money back and it's and I, so much money it is so much money yeah, gary i can't yeah. believe um that it's a voucher for 10 grand like you said you can go to iowa like 100 times or something yeah, like that exactly and as you said i mean they didn't cancel because one of them got sick or a family emergency or anything right. it was not on them at all yeah the, the airline just stopped flying altogether yeah. so that's why it was canceled i just think it's terrible united is afraid to make a precedent by doing the right thing. Yeah. When it was a phone call, they yes. didn't have any fine print to read. Right. They could have and should have, and hopefully maybe are still listening and will do the right thing. Yeah, that we'll stays. say I'll stay on top of Thanks, it. Thanks, we'll, Yep, you bet. Right. We've got a podcast. You can tune in to get more Three on Your Side wherever you listen to your podcast. Download it for free and send us a review.